Hey everybody, how's it going? Today we have a request from Andrew Andrew Schultz. I think that's how you say your name. Uh, he wants more Grand Funk Railroad Paranoid. So this is Paranoid, two weeks before Shea Stadium. Got a lot of requests for Grand Funk. So let's get funky. That is just sick guitar. Great bass breakdown. I love a good bass breakdown.
I'm in heaven with it. Like, beginning of the song, I liked it, but this end ending part is taking me over the top. Right? This part, right? I'm backing this up. Alright, this... This reminds me, uh, reminds me of Rage Against the Machine. So maybe, you know, Rage must have been influenced a lot by, specifically, the guitar in Rage Against the Machine. Th th this part coming up, the wow, 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 is exactly, exactly like a lot of uh, Rage songs. That, that was awesome. Um, the only thing I'm disappointed with is that the ending, I like the guitar at the end the best. Well, first of all, the bass line. The bass line was like the soul, provided some soul. I thought the bass line was, was sick. And, but my favorite part was probably the ending. I, I kind of wish it would have went on a little more with that guitar. If anyone knows any more of their songs that has that, that wow, wow, wow type guitar, that Rage Against the Machine machine type guitar. Well, I guess I should be saying Grand Funk type of guitar because they were first. Uh, let me know in the comments any more songs like that. Um, oh, and the video, I didn't know the video was going to have that stupid timer across the top, but whatever. You know, still a good song. Um, I liked it. Um, starting to become a big fan of Grand Funk. And like I said, I was, I've always been a Rage Against Machine fan. Um, and it seems like they were influenced heavily by them, I'm assuming. Um, but yeah, cool song, cool song. Not the greatest video, but cool, cool song. Alright, thanks for watching. Peace.